good morning, everybody, uh, clear across the country and on to other continents if they're listening. Uh, what I'm, I got motivated uh, to get on this call just a couple of days ago because I, as I was looking, of course, I've been doing an enormous amount of posting on the age bill. Now, you can call it age dot g dot e dot, which is fine, but it spells age. So, uh, but that stands for something else. It has to do with uh, advanced glycation endo products. And what that is, is uh, really, as we get into it, an accumulation of things that happen within the stem cells itself, and that uh, in reality, uh, they accumulate over a lifetime in either uh, buildup or degradation, both. And, uh, and it affects us, uh, of course, as we age. Now, I want to talk about the theory of aging and, uh, and of anti-aging and of youth regeneration, things that were not possible, uh, in fact, is uh, thought to be fantasies, the fountain of youth, if you will, and all of those kinds of things now, uh, science fiction, uh, are now reality. Uh, it's possible to do that. But it's still in theory. Uh, the products are undergoing human studies right now, very positively, from what I'm hearing. With it, it's gone through a whole series of mammal testing. And uh, in fact, is this, the mechanism is the same in all animals, whether it be a bird, a reptile, or a mammal. The process is exactly the same. In mammals, they try to get more specific. They start with a mouse, end up with a man. And, uh, and in that point, uh, in between, they check it carefully. And it's been uh, over a period of uh, really t less than 10 years. So, uh, and this uh, theory of uh, growing younger uh, was uh, quasi. Uh, with resveratrol, uh, when it first came out, they said, yeah, you can grow younger because that activates the sirtuin gene, but it's a sirt1 gene, and there's uh, seven of them. And uh, yes, that did uh, greatly increase the lifespan of uh, mammals that tested it. One of the big companies came on, uh, GlaxoSmithKline paid, I believe it was $730 million or $720 million for all of the studies that had been done by Harvard Medical School on it because the potential of making a pill that could make you live longer and regenerate a lot of your biology. Now, we're not saying necessarily growing younger, but regenerate a lot of it uh, is a huge, it's not more, it's a multi-billion, far beyond a multi-billion dollar uh, project. But it takes about $2 billion to get a new drug approval through now in about 15 years. So they're working on it. Will they get it? Maybe. But I, by the time they get it, uh, if they do, uh, and with most companies, uh, the technology is so far ahead of it, of what medicine goes through to bring you out something that is outdated long before it's ever brought out and being sold. So research and science is far ahead of medicine. The problem is most of the time uh, these products uh, are exotic. Uh, they're difficult to get a hold of. How do you extract them? Are, and uh, pharmaceuticals always make a synthetic version. It's, synthetic does not mean it's the same as. It means it only gives the same effect as. And the structure of the molecule can be very different. That's why things that are found in nature to be very powerful, over 50% of the pharmaceutical products are based upon discoveries like this, but they don't use the natural mo molecule. They use one with a very different configuration because you can't patent anything natural. They're God-given. And so I'm trying to inform you today on, on this, but with a few other things too, on uh, the way that things are done and they're developed. So uh, there's a lot of research, and researchers publish. And when they publish, then they expose what they've found uh, so that it can be looked into. And the thing I do is research the research to find these discoveries. And then if they look good enough, or I, if they have a point, I'll file them in, in an extensive uh, filing system on health and issues and ingredients that is, uh, is so big, it's, it's scary. We have to have some backups on it. Because on so many different categories of 
uh, things that people want to have supplements for or use for, whether it be skin, hair, or the uh, any parts of the body. Uh, I have massive files in many, many categories for these with many, many studies in them. So I came upon this initial, one of the initial things about it in 1988 when I learned they had discovered a formula in the Ming Dynasty Emperor's tomb, uh, which was said to uh, reverse aging and to grow you younger and you could live much, much longer. And one notable Chinese lived uh, 246 years with it. We even got a photo of him. He looks like he lived 246 years, that's for sure. He looks a lot like DW, but uh, not as heavy. But uh, he's uh, a chronological, uh, chronologically recorded throughout Chinese history, and they celebrated his 150th and his 200th year birthday. And it all goes back to, they have all the records going all the way back through it. Well, all that he did, I don't know. But I do know one thing. One of the formulations, which they called Qin Qin Bao, and Bao means treasure in China, uh, I was able to get from my previous company, at least to a degree with some of the ingredients. And it became one of the very best sellers we had, but it was way before it's it's time. We're, uh, even supplements, when I first started in this, were not very well accepted. People thought you got everything you needed out of food, all the vitamins, all the minerals, all the supplements. And to take a supplement was foolishness and a waste. Now they know that food is uh, about 75% deficient in nutrition, in essential trace minerals, in vitamins, all those things. Uh, they're grown in depleted soils, and they have to be uh, fertilized to grow to a de decent size and structure, but they're hollow foods because the nutritional content for the same amount of food you eat is only about 25% of what it was when your ancestors were alive. Now, those are some interesting things for you to know. But uh, over a period of years, as with it, I picked up on resveratrol. We have eternity. Uh, resveratrol is done very well. I don't think they, from what I've seen the testing, they can't find any synthetic molecule is effective as the natural one. What we've done with our resveratrol in eternity, we just now give you 50% more, and we didn't charge you a penny more for doing it. Because of our massive volumes and buying power, we're able to reduce those costs down so we could use fit and buying more direct, buying larger quantities, we reduce them down to where we increase the amount in the product by 50%. So now for the price of a bottle, you get like a bottle and a half. You still take the same dosage and get more, and I'll tell you what, more is better. So we've also added other things to it because in research companies that produce resveratrol, uh, most of it was destroyed before the, other, the, the consumer ever got it, and, and what little was left was mostly destroyed in the dietary, uh, or it's in, in the digestion system. So, but they advertise all these things and people don't know. You're not scientists. I do know. So I've made it possible to preserve uh, the, much of the quality and quantity and effectiveness, efficacy of our resveratrol and add other things to it in the studies that these resveratrol companies totally overlooked, disregarded. They were just following the main lead of the one ingredient and there were others that were really necessary to maximize this effect. So that's how I build eternity. This call isn't about eternity, although it's a great product. Uh, but eternity is one of the key components uh, that the age pill uh, bolts onto or uh, goes far beyond. Because while resveratrol uh, is reacted, it's taken as a nutrient, and it supports, and here's the key word for you to write down, supports. Um, D.W. made a mistake. He, he knew it when he said it, because I hear from his call when he says it stimulates stem cells. You can't say stimulate. You can't say potent. Those are drug terms according to the FDA. And right or wrong, um, they've got the, the power. So you have to watch what you say. But if a product occurs in nature, and you can bring it out, and as long as you say it doesn't create a structure function change, then you can use it. So the easy way around that is supports. 
for, for instance, calcium supports strong bones. Uh, mega oils or fish is like brain food. It supports healthy brain. Uh, proteins, amino acids support uh, large, healthy muscles, see, those kind of things. But if you said it stimulated muscles, or if you say it stimulated the brain, or something was uh, for, good for the heart, and you said it stimulated the, the heart, that would throw it right into a different category, and therefore it would be a drug, a medicine. And y you would have people all over you from the, if, if we, you got big enough, but also the company would too. So we have to watch all of our advertising and all our content, and it's best that you mirror or mimic as much of ours as you do in your advertising promoting. I'm gonna talk about all of that, how to advertise and things today, and do it hopefully within about 15 minutes so we can get through it uh, for you. And then I'm gonna put a guide on some of this, and if you're not following me on Facebook, you darn well should, because I'm posting so much, but most of what I'm posting now is the sensational uh, results that people are having, personal experiences with the age pill. And it's, just, it's astonishing. Now somebody I talked to yesterday, uh, a, a doctor uh, that specializes in stem cells from uh, down in Southern California was talking to me and, and, uh, and he came up and met with me about two weeks ago. But anyway, uh, discussing things with me, and he said, uh, uh, Tom, and he, they've been using this product, he says, we're seeing the results in just a week, or sometimes less and sometimes just a little bit more. And you're saying uh, six to eight weeks. And I said, well, you got me on that one, Doc, because actually that's what the studies did say, was that in about uh, 10 days, uh, profound effects were found at the 10 day mark, so it means they're happening all the way up. But because of some of the ingredients in it, some of it went on for a month or two to do. So I wanted to err on the side of caution because I did not know uh, how dramatic the effects of this product was gonna be when I brought it out. And while, while we're getting results with people seeing it within days or weeks, uh, and virtually everybody and the, the testimonies are coming in by the hundreds going around, and everyone's saying the same basic things. This is improved, this is improved, I'm feeling younger, I have a lot more energy, I have more strength, stamina, I'm getting up early, I'm more staying up late, I'm not tired, I'm not fatiguing. All the very benefits, see, those are the benefits that people are looking for. So you need to sell benefits, not features. That's a very important thing in advertising. But the big motivation for me wanting to get on the call today was that I saw some people advertising and, uh, well, sort of advertising. They were talking about doing uh, calls, webinars, and, and calls, conference calls like we have today. And in a number of them, I saw where they were talking about other products that we have within the sizzle line. And I realized, while those were important things, they weren't the hot item. And so uh, I wanted to come on today and tell you, if you're actively pushing other products, that's great because there's nothing like Transfusium in our skincare product. We have the only non-toxic, really line of shampoos and hair and skincare products in the world. Those are great, but they're secondary compared to the age pill, and they're a poor second. In it when it comes to excitement because the age pill is not for just old people. It's for everyone all along the way from uh, literally uh, teenagers through millennials clear on to the centenarians uh, that are over a hundred. Uh, this age pill has profound effects for everyone and what they do. So your concentration, and this is the big thing I wanted to tell you about today, is you should be, if you're not, you should be concentrating heavily on the age pill. Now, if, you're, if you get people involved in the age pill and they're seeing results, and they, of course, they've got skin and hair and teeth and all of those things and other uh, considerations they want in their dietary supplements and weight loss, those should all be added on. But right now, uh, the age pill is the hottest product ever brought into 
uh, network marketing or direct sales or over the counter, but this is never going to be a great over the counter product. While the effects are there, uh, they're going to be so restricted in what they can say and do, and they can't give personal testimonies in that in their advertising in the product sitting on the shelf that people are going to walk by it and not really pay that much attention. This is where direct selling, this is where network marketing comes into, and it's so effective. And that's why I joined it. Uh, never having been a distributor, I built one of the, about the fifth largest company in the world, uh, did billions and billions of dollars of sales in it, uh, all based upon the principle uh, that uh, great discoveries were being made, but the public didn't learn about them. And through direct sales, people could uh, utilize uh, the information that was there take the time to expend, explain it to people, and if people were interested in it, they could buy it, have benefits from it, and they would get commission on it. And as this thing compounded down generations of people what else are they wanting to do it, you have multiple levels of income stream coming in. That's the basic principle that brought me in. So I'm here today to tell you this. If your, your primary function is pushing some other products in the sizzle line, that's okay, but it's not the best thing to do. If you're good at it and you've got those things going, continue on with it. But you should make a right turn and put the pedal to the metal and go down the avenue marked the age pill because it's the one that's going to get you to huge success, fast growth, enormous potential for wealth and health, and not just slowing down aging, not just stopping aging, but actually reversing aging and growing younger. The reality is now. The product is here. Science fiction, fables, myths, all of that of eternal youth, of longevity, of immortality now have been breached and science is showing a potential for, you won't live forever, but you could live much, much longer. How much? I don't know. Twice as long? I think so. Three times as long, very possible. I mean, uh, this Chinese lived 246 years, and he didn't have all the technology that we have, although he knew things and, and uh, perhaps more to that. But some of the advanced technology we found is so extremely powerful that it's, uh, it's unbelievable uh, in, to me. I've sit here and I've watched these discoveries be made, evolve, develop, and they got to a point or I'd pursue them. So we brought out things like Eternity, uh, Fucoiden, uh, Spectramax, all dynamic discoveries that evolved along the way. And so like between Fucoiden and Eternity, I probably have 30-some patents that I developed on it so that uh, those things that I was doing that was remarkably different uh, could be ours alone. But the Triangle of Life, Fucoiden has been our number one selling product but it's been surpassed already by the age pill. You should use those others. Yes, I would strongly recommend it. But another one I'd recommend using with the age pill, my first choice after the age pill would be TSX uh, because TSX supports telomeres. You see, if telomeres degrade and they're used up, uh, the, the, then it slows down your duplication rate. And when you run out of telomer units, these are in stem cells on the tips of the chromosomes only. When you run out of those or you get down to a certain point, your body is in such a case of degeneration that uh, the disease somewhere in the 40s or 50s usually kicks in that's going to kill you. You see, because nobody dies of old age. In fact, is the FDA uh, does not classify aging as a disease. Aging is a condition, and that's what I want to bring into your mind today. Aging is a condition, and conditions can be treatable. Now, we're not talking about curable. We're talking about treatable because it's a condition. Uh, things like diabetes or rabies or leprosy, those things can be cured. Uh, hepatitis C, they've got a cure for it. Now, all those things. Aging doesn't fall into that category. Aging is simply this. Aging uh, is when uh, your body has decayed and degenerated or is in decay and degeneration. Where does that start at? Usually when you're in your mid-20s, you start aging. So uh, up to that point, you're growing 
Uh, and while you think from conception at, at birth to age uh, 20, 25, 25, 23, 25, for, 23 for women, 25 for men, uh, is about the average where you stop producing more cells than you're, um, than you're losing. And then the biological effects that are affecting aging from simply breathing in, because oxygen is a bad aging compound, but it's necessary because it oxidizes the sugar, the glucose, uh, within the cells of all the body, and including the stem cells, by oxidation. The way, same way gasoline explodes in a car engine, and you have carbon monoxide, a single oxygen, going out uh, the tailpipe because it's so deadly and dangerous. So. Within the body, you take in oxygen, O2, and it, uh, it metabolizes uh, and reacts with glucose and creates energy. And that energy is converted, of course, into electrical energy, and that's what our bodies run on. Uh, our brain has, uh, your brain has more electrical calculations going on right now in the average person than if you took 100 of the largest computers in the entire world and link them all together, it doesn't equal the activity going on within your brain. So that's why the brain uses about 30% of your oxygen. And it only weighs about 1.5% of your body weight, but it uses 30% of your oxygen because so many, uh, so many uh, functions are going on within it. So that's a lot of oxidative stress. So there are things that counteract that, but they start wearing out. They start producing less. And so a certain amount of the oxidi oxidation doesn't get neutralized. It goes on and damages structures. And it's sort of okay in regular cells, but in stem cells, it's terrible because stem cells, like the chicken that lays the eggs, that makes chickens for the coop, and, uh, and when it starts getting damaged, when it starts getting old, aged, it produces less eggs. And it's the same thing with stem cells in your body. Now, if you, you don't know a lot about stem cells, I'm not going to give you a dissertation on that today, but uh, every you start out with one single cell at conception. By the time you're born, you've got 10 trillion. By the time you're about 25, you've got about 100 trillion. When you die, you've got about 60 trillion. See, so you're about 40% degenerated when you die. But you still got, uh, you know, uh, 60 trillion cells. But what happens after the age of 25 is stem cells start producing less and less, and you're actually losing more. So if in the first year you lose about 8 to 10% of your regeneration uh, to degeneration. And, uh, and your body declines accordingly to that, too. And it's all happening because of damage primarily at the uh, stem cell level. Stem cells are everywhere. And they're specific. Some are for the eyes and different parts of the eyes. Others for the brain. Some for the heart. Some for fingernails and hair and, and skin and all those. They're all different types of stem cells. Fat has stem cells in them. Bone marrow has stem cells in them. Bone has stem cells in them. All of that. So there's so many of those. And they're taking in all the oxygen nutrients uh, to produce new replaceable cells as they wear out. If not, we would... We wouldn't last very long because of the aging and the deterioration through the rest of our body. So these cells, depending on the organ they're in, they're given up at a certain time, and uh, they have to be replaced. But when you're losing, if you're losing, a let's say, uh, 100 a day, and you're producing uh, 70 a day, you're into degeneration. And then decay because you're not able to combat many of the things that cause aging, oxidative stress, uh, free radicals of all types, uh, that starts to rust away your system. So this is where the age pill comes in, because within the stem cell itself, it has the ability to repair itself, and it does it all the time. It's only as uh, oxidation and things like that start to wear it out and the, the biological functions, which stem cells are permanent, until they become dormant or until they die, which is going on in your body and proportionately gaining at 8 to 10% a year. So in theory, at age 65, you could have lost somewhere between 32 and 40% of your body 
a mass, you, you probably would within that range, normal. And of course, what happens when you're 75? Then you've lost uh, 40 to 50 percent of your body mass, and you know you might as well put jam in your pockets because you're toast. You haven't got much time left with it. So the key to this was an amazing discovery, and it, an amazing discovery is on a number of things, but one that has caught the spotlight. And uh, NASA took a look at it, and they call it the immortality pill, based on one ingredient, because it provides the, and it's actually a nutritional support item to produce a compound called NAD. And the product, that's an abbreviation, and the product is NR. So uh, it comes out of it, it's a derivative out of niacin. And whether you took the pill or not, you're producing it anyway every day in your body from, from conception on to death. You're always producing NAD and NR within your body. Nutrients come in and feed the system. The only problem is your system is decaying and degenerating. It's producing a lot less of it. And uh, so this product comes in and greatly increases the, uh, the if you can ingest it, NR, because it's a super food. It goes in and larger amounts of it, just like putting uh, the pedal down on, think of it this way, like putting the pedal down on your car puts more gas into the engine and that given engine can increase horsepower and speed. That's a simple way of thinking of it, isn't it? And that's what happens if you start increasing NR or NAD. Uh, but from there it goes through a whole process uh, that isn't the ultimate goal. The ultimate goal is to produce electrical energy. That's what gives us energy. That's what makes us feel good, and that's what uh, provides all of the energy for the, for the brain to function and for cells to create and regenerate and repair and do all of those things. Now, we're not talking about a cure here. We're talking about a nutritional supplement. So we have that. Now, I can go through and talk about the different aspects and I, I put a post out on Facebook, and I said, we have a lot of different ingredients in it, uh, some of which uh, are not really known, and that, uh, and people don't know the effects of them. That was, it, that was the sense of it. And we had a bunch of people call, what does he mean? you got ingredients in it that aren't on the label? No. What I'm saying to it is, within these ingredients are certain components that do a number of things, to achieve the end goal that we're looking for, and we'll explain that as a later time. This is a very complex uh, thing, but I want to make it simple for you. So we have a product uh, that does a number of things. It uh, First of all, within cells, uh, they build up uh, with garbage. Now, everything that goes into the cell, a stem cell we're talking about, let's forget about the other cells in the body, because stem cells are making them, and they're, they're dying off and being replaced. So stem cells make cells at a certain rate and to a certain condition depending on the state of, of health or condition of the stem cell. If a stem cell is, dec is uh, de decayed, degenerated, uh, not producing as healthy a cell, not producing as many of them, of course then the whole rest of the body is a result of that. So what we've t looked at is what's, how does these bio and we've looked at what scientists have found. And so they say there's a couple of things that really cause a lot of problem within the stem cell. One of it is um, that as glucose is oxidized, uh, a lot of it gets out of the cell, but a lot of it does not, and it, is, it sort of builds, it builds like a plaque uh, on proteins within the cell. So this, uh, this glucose oxide, if you will, uh, a product from oxidation, starts to, they call it glycation, starts to put the glucose, uh, just like it puts some saran wrap over their mouth and nose, then try and breathe. And it starts doing that to protein structures within the stem cell so that the biological process is in theory. And I've got to remember, this is theory, although uh, we're talking about our product based upon uh, research that's been found, which much of it uh, has been proven, and but it, much of it is theoretical and are, is being looked at and evaluated, so we have to say the theory. Uh, and we can't say it cures or will do this. And I have a lot of people writing in to me about diseases. I can't answer those questions. Even if I had the answer, it would be illegal, criminally illegal for me to do it, so I won't. And I can't because that, that would jeopardize everyone's business. So 
But you can have personal testimonies on what you've done. So that's one of the advantages of direct sales. But now we come through and uh, we can do something to remove the glyc or support the stem cell. See, I'm almost got in that trick bag myself here. That supports the stem cells natural activity to remove glycation. That's the filming, that's the plaque within it. And so it's doing it anyway, it's just as you get older, it does support her, but just like putting the gas pedal down so you flood more gasoline into the engine so it gets revved up and goes faster, has more power, more acceleration, the same thing happens with some of the components we put in. It's not a single ingredient, it's a number of components and it's quite complex. But uh, simply for you, uh, you just say you're getting rid of the plaque, kind of like brushing your teeth, if you will. Think of that. But, the, but the, uh, the cell has the ability to do it, and so you feed it with a large, uh, highly concentrated uh, ingredient, a uh, large volume of it, and so that it can operate more optimally because it has all of the sources that it needs to better accomplish this purpose is, is the theory of what we're talking about. The second is, just like if you're building a house, have you ever looked at a house being built, I mean, there, there's a lot of things that go into a house with plumbing and cement and, and wood and siding and shingles and roofing and all the electrical and everything else. But you look around the house, it, there's big piles of garbage there because it's leftovers from building the house. The same thing is going on within your stem cell. Uh, it goes in, it takes in nutrients, and these nutrients uh, go into the nucleus, the DNA, and uh, with that... Uh, from the cytoplasm, there's a little energy uh, organella, they call it, little uh, entities that are might call mitochondria. They produce the energy, they take the glucose, they take the oxygen, and they react it like similar to how a car engine explodes gasoline with oxygen. And that energy powers the whole cell. And within uh, the stem cells, uh, they're putting off DNA, or putting off, excuse me, telomeres, and then the DNA within the nucleus takes the nutrients and compounds whatever it's supposed to be building, be it bone, brain cell, be it a hormone, whatever it's doing, uh, it's producing. But after that's been produced, there's a residual uh, uh, garbage, just like building a house. Uh, and so the reactions are made, the, the cells are developed, the, the processes are uh, produced, but there's some leftover. So the cells have a mechanism to get rid of the garbage, the accumulated uh, material from uh, metabolic activity. And, but over a period of time, this is done by enzymes. Think of it this way, enzymes, uh, they work very differently. It's like if you're in a restaurant and you spilled something, uh, say on your shirt or blouse, uh, if you put some water on it and wouldn't take it off, you could actually take your fingertip and put some saliva on it, drop on it, rub it, and it would break it down, and then water would remove it from it. And that's what enzymes do, and they do it quickly. So in an aging stem cell, those enzymes become more inefficient, there's less of them, and the cellular garbage starts to, starts to accumulate. Just like in your house, if you, if you emptied food that uh, you came in accumulated and it left garbage. If you em emptied 99% of the garbage, what would your house look like in 10, 20, 30, 40 years? It would be a mess. It's the same thing with stem cells. They accumulate all the cellular garbage and it's called lipofusion. And this lipofusion, uh, it's like you have oil in your engine of your car to lubricate it and make it function, but if you never changed the oil and only added oil as it was needed, pretty soon you'd have an engine full of sludge and it couldn't operate well and eventually would fail. This process is basically the same as what's in the stem cells. So we have a second series of ingredients that uh, supports the stem cell to remove the cellular garbage or the lipofusion. So we're support, supporting remove of glycation, we're supporting the removal of lipofusion. Then the other thing that is so important is the stem cells have the ability 
uh, to repair the mitochondria. And the mitochondria themselves have the ability to do it, and they're doing it all the time, and they have the ability to duplicate more of them, but all of that deteriorates with lots of use. It's like your car engine wears out with so many miles. You've got 100,000, you've got a certain amount of mileage, 200,000, you're close to where it's collapsing. Those same things happen within your mitochondria, but they are repairing themselves. But some of them get to the point they can't, they lose function. They, and in fact, some of them then start to leak uh, oxidation, uh, oxidative molecules, the single oxygen, which causes tremendous damage, even from a small percent of it. But the cell mechanism is there to, re to repair them, and it is doing it. But suddenly we can flood it with a number of different types of ingredients that helps it, like putting the pedal to the metal, and this flood of nutritional ingredients supports the system uh, for mitochondria. And so that's what we do. So there's third. And the last one is creating cellular energy. Now, uh, cellular energy is the ultimate thing. And, and you'll see a lot of people that they're, they're trying to make it real simple and easy, and we're, we're going to make it simple and easy for you. But this time I wanted to talk to you particularly about your efforts and what you're doing. But let's talk about cellular energy. When I said within our product there are many components that you don't know, that you're not aware of, uh, but will be in it, they're there. Uh, but it's just we're not explaining what they do. And we have to be very careful in how we do that. But we can put it in third-party literature. Anything that's an advertisement, a magazine, a scientific study can be utilized. Uh, here in the United States, you have DSHEA. It's an act. It's a Dietary Supplemental Health Education Act. And what it says is when Big Pharma was trying to shut down all nutritional supplements and require they only be given through prescription, this law was put out in 1994. Uh, to protect the public so they had the right to know, to choose and to use products that were natural, that were healthy. And it's, it, but the requirements, the way the FDA has modified it, and it probably will get changed from there, but the way it is right now, and you have to play games according to the rules, uh, is that you can show these studies, these articles to people, but they cannot be part of your advertising. Uh, and we're going to have uh, on our website, and we're bringing out a new website with a new back office, and a bunch, and it'll be spectacular, and that'll be out here within a month or so, and it is overwhelming what we'll have there, but we'll also have it where you go into a product, and you can click onto the scientific page, and then you can see those studies, you can see those articles, and you could actually print them off, or you could keep them on your computer. And when you were talking to somebody, you could talk about the products, and then you could say, and here is the study that supports this and supports this and supports that. Now, that's fairly technical, and maybe many of you won't use that because most people just want to know the benefits, not the features. But they'll all be there to support. So this is credible. This is not flim-flam scam. This is not companies that take an ingredient uh, and blow it out like they did with mango steam juice and no need juice and and others like that. It's just absurd. They had no potential to do what the claims they were making. Their science isn't there to back it up. And uh, University of Adelaide's analyzed the, one of the big companies selling it. And this is just juice. There's nothing concentrated in this. Just juice with it. And they said apple juice had a much better biological effect than what mango seed juice did. But the company grew to be a billion dollars. See, because you're, the people were into the benefits and there's the placebo effect with it. But now that the opportunity is over, it's collapsed and actually sold. And uh, you see some of the others that were giants collapsed and gone because uh, once the marketing uh, opportunity was not there, once the bloom was off the rose and the people – would not buy the product if they weren't making money on it, then those companies don't last. This is the product, as well as the other products in Sizzle, but let's talk about this one. This is the product of products. This is the greatest product ever introduced in the history of MLM, and I believe it's the single greatest discovery in the history of human health. So let's concentrate. Let's do a, a turn, a right turn, uh, and start to primarily promote the age pill. Now, I'm not just talking about promoting it, and if you see somebody talk, you've got to be proactive and aggressive right now because no one has this out in the market in direct sales. A little bit trickling out, but 
because of the enormous expense of some of these ingredients running four and five thousand dollars a pound. In fact, it's, one is almost up to ten thousand dollars a pound uh, because of this enormous expense that they have. They'll use one ingredient and minimum amounts of it. And perhaps what one of the studies showed, it started to create some biological support. But we, we go the other end. We go clear to the maximum end. We buy direct. We bring it in. We contract to have it made and all of these things. And so we can cut our price down so that we can give you a product at a very reasonable price that is right uh, at the tip of what we believe can, will give you the greatest maximum results and for a very good price that you're paying for the product. So it's easy to sell. It's inexpensive in comparison to what it could be, should be. This should be a product that should sell for $253, $400 uh, for a month's supply. But because of what we're doing here, we've got it in here. You can buy U.S., you can buy a bottle for $64.95 or two for $59.95. Or you can buy uh, six of them, and I don't know what that price is, but it's quite, I think it's down around uh, $50 for that. So it, that's really stunning. In fact, as we're finding that most people are buying six, uh, because they're they're retailing them and they're signing up people who want to buy the product right now. They want to get signed up, but they want a product right now, so they sign them up, put an order in for them, and sell them the product, make the profit, and uh, it is driving sales like crazy. And we are in momentum now. We are growing very fast because of this. And when you see the testimonies, you look at other companies. I mean, there's a if you look at their website and they see the things they're doing. And then you see these companies that have said all these absurd things have collapsed. These are all true. These are, these are testimonies like other companies never have. I've never seen testimonies like this. And it's coming across. And I tried to err on the side of caution, saying six to eight weeks. And people said, well, six to eight weeks? In days this happened. In a week this happened. In two weeks this happened. It didn't take that long. Well, great. Overbuild it. I didn't overbuild it. I just built it to the best that I thought it can be. But when it comes to making this electrical energy, which is what the current ingredient that uh, is being is getting the publicity that NASA says now we can send a person to Mars because uh, this body will support the regeneration and and its body is that repairs itself with this nutrient, it can speed all of this up so that solar radiation won't kill an astronaut. By the time you send them up to Mars on a five or six year mission, nobody would come back. You send them up for five or six months and, and uh, about everybody comes back, but they're about five or six years older and 100% of them, they say, will get cancer in their lifetime. And so they say, well, here it is. This is the immortality pill. Well, it's one. And there are others that do it quite frankly, in my opinion, but supporting, I've got to say supporting the stem cell, that do it much better than NR. NR, yeah, you should use it to support it, of course you should. But there are four different ways of producing what, here's the ultimate end that you want, is getting, producing large, tremendous amounts of ATP. Now people say, well, take coenzyme Q10 because it increases uh, ATP production. Yeah, but it's insignificant to what the ingredients in the age pill uh, can do. It, it, it's just, in my opinion, from what I see, uh, we haven't broken our, uh, done a study down on that, but from what I see, the results on the ingredients put to, individually and then put together, I think uh, coenzyme Q10 is just virtually a waste of money. I mean, it's, if it wasn't anything else, yeah, and we sell it and sold it, but it's it's in the past now because the ability to produce huge amounts, the potential, that's what we have to say, the potential to pu produce huge amounts of ATP that puts the pedal all the way to the metal so that you can maximize your speed of, of a regeneration, of repair, of not growing old, but instead if you're producing more cells than you're losing, that's what you do from conception up to when you're about 23 or 25 years old. And what are you doing? You're getting bigger, stronger, uh, healthier until you hit your peak, and then you go the other way. Uh, you got made it at the top of the hill you're standing, then you start going down the other side, and you start picking up speed. It's the same analysis. 
But here we come in and we can put in massive amounts of ATP, that's chemical energy. Where does that come from? It all comes from the sun with hydrogen coming down, being converted by plants into chemical energy through our body in one process to another, different types of chemical energies being produced. And out of ATP, what does that produce? It produces, it releases that hydrogen from the sun. They call it bio, we call it biological hydrogen, as others do. That biological hydrogen is the power of the sun. No life on earth would exist without it, and it is what, uh, is converted to electrical energy. So this is our evaluation. This is what we think uh, the possibility of it, our theory is. If you can greatly increase the amount of ATP, you can greatly increase the amount of biological hydrogen, and you should be able to greatly increase the amount of electrical energy, and I believe it's happening because I'm seeing the testimonies that are pouring. What's the biggest thing they're talking about? how much energy I have. Then you're talking about people that they're seeing certain uh, things within their body that is improving a lot over a very short period of time. Why? Because this electrical energy puts the pedal to the metal in whatever biological system that is so that it can accelerate and make you healthier. So now, just like when you're young from conception, you produce more cells than you lose, all right? Now you're losing more cells than you produce, and we're just going to flip that on its head, and we're going to take you, no matter what your age is, whether you're 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, or 100, we're going to su support your body so it has the potential. And see, we can't say absolutely because our formulation hasn't been tested. It would take millions of dollars and maybe up to, I don't know, to, to make a claim five years, 15 years. You want to wait? So we say the possibility, the potential to do that because of the power of all these different systems working synergistically together is enormous. And now whatever age you're at, let's say that you're at 50 years old, now you can start producing more cells, potentially, that's, that's our objective, I have to say, is to potentially produce more cells than you're losing at 50. So what do you become? 51, 52, 53? No! Uh, you, those are the years you've lived, so you're living longer, but now you're becoming 49, 48, 47 in a biological age if this uh, works as we surmise, as we believe uh, that it will. And so you have a huge potential not to grow older, not to end aging. Oh, yeah, those things are peripheral. The potential that we have, the objective that we're for, and that's the thing that even NASA said was only one of the ingredients is we're going to grow you younger or provide the nutrients so your body can grow you younger as you live longer. Now, I've taken a lot of time. That's an overview on it. So if you're going to do advertising, I would recommend you can. We'll let you advertise any way you want, and you can sell anywhere you want except to a mass marketer. You can have chiropractors selling it, doctors, uh, and you see some of these studies. You see what some of these ingredients do for pregnancy. It is unbelievable on the support it gives to the to the mother and to the baby that is developing. If you see it for people have a lot of afflictions as they're getting older, whether it be from the top of the head, from the brain clear down to the circulation in the feet or the toenails or whatever else it is, you're going to have massive support at those levels and you're going to see incredible things possible that can happen. But you can't say it stimulates. You can't say that it uh, makes a structure function claim. Uh, you can't say things like it will build a healthy brain. It will build a stronger heart. No. You can say it supports the brain so it can be healthier. It supports the heart so it can be healthier. Uh, muscle size definition can be supported uh, to uh, be more youthful, more strong, uh, more full, more like it, what it was before, but we can't say it's stimulating to do it. And it's not. It's actually feeding the biological systems uh, that you're just flooding it with as you flood an engine with gas, with pedal to metal, so that now you can uh, support regeneration uh, to increase it beyond degeneration. And when that happens and all those cells go, guess what the cell's natural ability is within itself? And, and stem cells, what we're primarily talking about, 
it has the ability within itself and it's doing it all the time to repair damage. And so if you can support it with the nutrients so the systems can work more effectively, what becomes of you? You become healthier, younger, stronger, more energetic. All that potential is there for you with it. So my call today, and geez, look at the time I've taken, uh, and there's more, many more things we go on, but here's the point. We're in momentum. The HPL is the greatest product that's ever been in network marketing. We're in direct sales. You can advertise it. You can put it on TV. You can put it in magazines. You can post things in senior citizen centers. You can post it in fitness centers. You can talk to millennials or even teenagers about it because, after all, if this supports uh, higher levels of fitness, of output, uh, and studies on some of the ingredients. We can't say our product does it because it hasn't been tested, but studies of the ingredients, they, uh, they can operate at a 20% higher level. Uh, they can recover uh, four to six times faster. Uh, and then muscle definition uh, in people that are, that are older improves size, strength, uh, goes back more. It could go back potentially uh, to where it was when they were younger. All of those things are there. Uh, millennials want energy. They want fitness. They want, uh, they want a higher level of energy doing more. They want their recovery to be a lot faster, and they don't want to damage their systems. And this product provides all of that type of support. So be careful in your advertising and what you say. If you want to run an ad, send it through us so we can scrutinize it for you and tell you do's and don'ts of what you can do. Sometimes I just help uh, one individual with an ad and, you can't say this and you can't say that, but you should say this and you should say that. And we made a really powerful ad out of it. I don't necessarily do all that. Our marketing department will do it. But uh, you can do. You don't have to advertise. Uh, you could. Uh, I've seen distributors even go on talk shows at local TV stations and talk about it when they got versed enough to do it and have tremendous results on other things. But this is the greatest of the great. This is the best that's ever been produced. There's never been a product like this on earth before. Well, maybe the Chinese had some of it, but what we have now is the most advanced science. I believe you can grow much younger. I believe you can live two and three times longer than you would have right now. Maybe if you're age 15, you say, I'm going to die in the 70s like normal. Maybe you'll live to 100, 120. Who knows? But the potential with this is for that, and it might be for even more than that especially when you bowl on something like TSX and the Triangle of Life, uh, giving it the other nutrients that it needs and things. Who knows where we're going to go? But I do believe one thing. We're going to get a lot healthier. We're going to get a lot wealthier. And we're going to grow a lot younger and be more prosperous and happy if we push this thing very hard right now. So I would say take your focus and put it on the age pill and talk to everybody you can as fast as you can because right now we alone are selling this, uh, this type of system. There will be a company that will come along with one or two ingredients down the road, but we've probably got a year or two before they do it, and the expense is so great they can't make formula, I don't believe, the way that we can. So you have got the world before you, and this is a product that billions of people will have. And it's not a deal, except this product is through sizzle. So get your rear into high gear. Get going. Put your pedal to the metal. Take the products, and you'll find out you can, uh, you can get a lot more out of yourself. And you can take health, wealth, and prosperity and happiness and bundle them all up together because I believe the age pill will create that for you. So that's my message for today. I'm sorry it took a long time. But I see people advertising and, and doing conference calls and webinars and other things. I, ah, you're missing the boat. This is the big one. Get on this one and get on it right now. So that's my message to you today. And sorry for all the time I took. And I went fast. But there's a lot to tell about this product. And you need to get it down more simple. Watch my video. My video is very short. And in three or four minutes, it tells you everything to do and how to say it with it. So, and we have a, a website for the age pill. You can go to it and you can look it up. You can see the video. You can see it on our, on our uh, Sizzle website, too, with it. And, and just mimic what I'm doing and learn a little bit more about it to embellish it in a couple of ways. But just I say it the safe way. I say it the way that people can realize what it does. 
and you can have scientific support. You need a little bit, maybe, uh, to say, yeah, look here, look at here's an article. This is what NASA says. This is what these researchers say. And you can create the lifestyle you've dreamed of, the one that is slipping away as you get older and older. And when you get to a certain age, you spend everything you've accumulated to try and maintain your health from deteriorating as fast as it is and keeping you from dying. And that can go away, I believe, with the potential of this. If it works and does the way it would, and you work and do it the way you should, you can have what other people cannot because you have the product of all, the greatest product of all time, I think, in the history. Well, of course, there's electricity, internal combustion, and of course, those things. But in human health, this is the single greatest discovery. In MLM, this is the single greatest product ever introduced, and you have no competition. Put your finger to your nose and hold one side, and then take a big smell. Do it right now. Take a breath in. You know what you smelled? Opportunity, money. This is here to give you the money, to give you the health, to give you the wealth, to live the lifestyle you want for a long, long time, help many people uh, that you know and that you don't know and family and all others and do great good as people grow younger, live longer, create tremendous amounts of energy, have health like, uh, uh, like they're in their 20s again. And studies on some of the ingredients actually show that all your biomarker, or your biomarker, I don't say all of them, but your biomarkers go back to operating like you are in your 20s again. Where are you going to get that? Nowhere else on planet Earth, I think, but sizzle. And you have no competition, virtually none. So go out and get it done because this is the time. This is the big one. And it's time to put your energy, massive energy, into recruiting because we're going to get tens of millions of distributors. But right now is the greatest opportunity. And those that you get have that same great opportunity, and you can build the organization that can create all of this for you by the products, the age pill, TSX, Triangle, other things like that may give you a life and a health worth living for an extra, I hope, 100, 150 years. How does that sound to you? Sounds pretty good to me. So that's, I can't keep, I can keep closing, but... I'm so motivated by this. I hope you are, too, and that's what I want to talk to you about today. So uh, that's my message. I'll turn the time back to you, D.W. John Bauer, absolutely amazing, amazing, amazing. You just keep giving and giving and giving. And uh, probably the funnest quote today was, go ahead and put jelly and jam in your pockets because you're toast. I'm telling you, man, that made me laugh so hard. And... Uh, but we have a product we can make an impact and use the word support. Use the words uh, that, that Tom's talking about. Stop and take notes and uh, let's, let's get this down and do it right. Let's not have to go redo something. Let's get it right from the beginning. And that's what it's all about. So this is a call for, you know, really those that are on the call that are leaders that are really wanting to get it right when it comes to, to helping people have what they have. I'm telling you what's happened to me is amazing. We're getting ready to launch a video on it. And, uh, and what's happened to Miss Helen, we're going to launch our own personal videos and shoot and send those out to a lot of other folks. Um, and we'll share them with you to use as well. And so that's what's, that's where we're at. So everybody, we love you. That's it for the, the sizzle in the morning call. Listen to this again. Take notes. Listen again. Take notes. Listen again. Take notes. I'm going to suggest that you do the challenge and listen seven times and take notes because there's that kind of terminology. And you want to get the terminology in there that Tom's given us. Everybody, double hugs. We love you. Ms. Helen, find out where everyone's from, the whole nine yards, and, and all of our people that are at corporate right now. Blessings to you, and we'll talk to you all soon. God bless. Bye-bye.